With this video, I want to show how easy it is to apply security for the admin module. This will redirect users who are not logged in or have no permission to use the admin module. If you are used to PHP or an ASP dialect, then you would have applied the security enforcer on the page. With Node, the restrictions are applied on the server. Hi, I'm Ben Plesier and, like you, a fervent user of Wappler. First, I need to set up the server side part. In Wappler, I go to the Workflows panel. Under Globals, I select Security Provider and Security. This is what I created in Video 7 when discussing user registration. In the Properties panel, I hit Users and Permissions. So far, the settings in the Security Provider have been sufficient. But now I need to add an extra dimension. I need to add Administrator Permission. I click on the plus button, this adds a row for the permissions. I populate the row by entering Administrator for the permission name. For the table I choose users and the identity is set to user ID. In the conditions panel, I insert a new row. In this row I set group as the column, I leave the operator as is and add 3 to the value. When done I click OK and save the JSON file. Under API and security, I add a server action called administrator. In the JSON file I add an action step. For the action step I select Security Provider and Security Restrict. In the Properties panel I select Administrator for the permission. I then redirect unauthorized users to the main page in the public module. This is done by clicking on the Routes Picker. When done, save the JSON file. I can now close both files, they are no longer needed. Now the setup for the admin pages. This needs to be a blanket security covering all of the pages. Luckily we have construed the admin module as a single page app. This means that when I apply the restriction to the layout page, the restriction will be applied to all. In Wappler, I open the admin layout page. Here I select, app. In the properties panel I scroll down to server side data where I hit the server action button. This reveals a pop-up where I select Security and Administrator. When done, I save the page and we are done. When I open the page in the browser, I get redirected to the public module. Here I log in as an administrator and the admin module shows. This is how easy it is to secure a whole section using Wappler as your tool of choice. At this stage, I am not sure of which part of the project to create next. This will be a surprise to us both. I do hope that you enjoyed this video and hope to see you for the surprise video which comes next.